Coach probably got exactly what you wanted tonight, kind of coasted to the win, got off to a great start early, and then had an opportunity in the second half to play a lot of different combinations. Well, when you uh, play these non-Division one games, that's what you hope for as a coach going into the game. You don't tell your team that, but, uh, you know, we did play well early, uh, got going, did, got some things done uh, with the starters that we wanted to do, and, uh, and and really, you know, played a really good first half in all in all phases. We wanted to score the ball inside more. We did. Uh, I think at the at the first four minute, four or five minute mark, we had seven layups already. Or uh, and uh, so we got some things done. And yes, it allowed us to play some guys that that needed minutes in in, in game time action. And uh, you know, sometimes you guys you worry about them losing their shape and 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 they don't get to play as much and. And, and, and then when you throw them in there, when you need them, they, they're not uh, ready to go. And so we got some of that work done as well. Sure, you're pleased though too. Even when you got the lead out over 50 points, your players continue to compete. And part of this, you had a chance to play guys so they hadn't had a lot of minutes. Well, there were some certain things they knew going into the game that we were looking at as coaches out on the floor. And I thought they did try to do uh, the things that we talked about, which was important uh, to me. I, I, I don't like a... Uh, uh, just a pickup game when you get a big lead and, and, and it just goes crazy out there and nobody's really paying attention because in two weeks the competition is going to get a lot stiffer when we start league play. So I wanted them playing right and I thought they really tried to in the second half. Michael Hurdle came off the bench tonight for the first time this season. Gave you double figure effort. Well he had uh, what uh, 12, 14 points in 12, 14 minutes. He, he probably would have had 40 he, he, the way he was going and uh, Mike, Mike's done fine for us as a freshman, and uh, uh, you know he, he's got a scoring mentality, and, and I think you could see it tonight. And uh, you know he's going to be a good player here and have a good career. And uh, didn't play him as many minutes, and uh, he's going to get you know he's gotten plenty already this year, and, and there's more to come. And we want to give some of the other guys a little a look see tonight. Well, Roger Taylor and Brandon Newman are two, are two of those guys you want to get the extra work for. Brandon and Roderick, we really wanted to uh, work on their shape tonight and give them some minutes. Brandon played 26 minutes, which was a high for him, and he needed that And uh, uh, because we're using him a little more uh, than we did earlier in the season. Roderick's been out for a little over a week with a concussion issue, and he lost his shape quickly. And you know, It doesn't take long to lose game shape. Uh, a couple days, and uh, it's a problem. And so uh, we had to work him in and out and trying to uh, work on uh, – you know, his cardio and that type thing, and uh, uh, so it was good for him. Last non-conference game coming up Wednesday night against Centenary and a chance to carry some momentum into league play. Well, uh, exactly, and, uh, you know, uh, this was a feel-good game for us, and, and so, you know, we need, to, we need to continue this on Wednesday, hopefully play really, really well uh, again like we did uh, in the first half tonight and uh, carried out over to conference play because uh, our league's really good this year, really, really, again, and uh, we're going to have to be ready.